Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Xana520, and welcome to the next ch chapter in our Zelda story. This game was originally released for the GameCube and the Nintendo Wii. In fact, I believe it was a, no a launch title for the Wii. And its design was directly a response to criticism from Wind Waker being too childish and cartoony. So, Nintendo went 180 degrees in the opposite direction and created one of the most amazing and dark games in the entire series. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. So, let's get going in here. We're going to be using the Pro Controller. This is the first time I've played with the Pro Controller on this game. Where are my saves? Where are my saves? I know I played this game before. There should be a save file here. Whatever. We're going to pick Link. We're going to pick Epona as our horse. Uh-huh. Now we're playing normal mode. Oh, this is peaceful. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness as dusk falls? Does they say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs? The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of spirits who have left our world. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. But enough talk of sadness. I have a favor to ask of you, Link. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, it was a task set to me by the mayor, but would you go in my stead? You have... never been to Hyrule, right? In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle, and around it is Castletown, a community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world the gods created. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. It is getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this matter. time that Epona is ever shown hauling something other than Link. In this case, models of wood. Cross the little bridge here. Lock up the gate before we leave. Having a casual conversation on the way back. Nice little spring right there. Huh. Guy's got a family. Young son and another on the way, by the looks of it. Hmm. Where are you taking my horse? Hey, hey Link! You there? Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? They ain't listening to me lately.
Hey, where's Epona? All right, so typical Zelda controls. A roll. Speak, check. Oh, they. Hey. Come on now, hurry up and bring Epona with you. All right, so apparently you. Hey, hey, where are you going without Epona? Hurry up and bring her with you, bud. Okay, I guess we're going. Which way are we going? This way? I think we're going this way. Where's our horse? Under the rock? No. Uh, let's see. Where is Epona? Oh, here we go. Hi, Link. I washed a pona for you. Almost looks like Link has heterochromia there. The pona works really hard, so I thought she deserved a treat. Oh, but listen, Link, could you do something for me? Can you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one that Epona likes? Well, this is an important mechanic we're going to need. Grab this piece of grass and blow. There we go. Got six spurs there. Whoops. Hello. There's a wall. Excuse me. There's a wall. There we go. All right. We got our horse. Now to go herd some goats, I guess. The lack of music here is a little odd. All right. Into the village we go. Welcome to our home, Ordon Village. Famous for its pumpkins. And it's goat cheese. Alright, so we gotta go help herd the goats. So, we could take some time to, like, talk to everybody. Like this chap here. Oh, Link. Looks like you're going to help Fado. Good job. He headed up to the ranch ahead of you. You will finish up your chores before the sun goes down. Hey Wasn't it just the sundown? I think a lot of this early game takes place in, like, ironically, the twilight. And here we got some goats on Ordon Ranch. Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Link. These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud, but how's about you and Epona herd them into the barn real quick? We ain't got much time, so you think you can do it for me? Yeah. Much obliged there, bud. Okay then, go on, go on and herd all these little scamps into the barn for me. All right, here we go. Got a whoop to make the move. Goat in! I think there's, yeah, there's ten goats. Move! Come on, in you go. In you go. Come on. Goat in! Goat in! Go get all the goats in! In you go! There we go. We have to do this again later. I think there's twenty goats then. Link, Epona, much obliged to both of y'all. I can cover everything 
today tomorrow without having to trouble you, so you just sit back and relax, bud. Oh, but uh, how about today? Want to practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, bud. I'll get them, fe get them fences set up. Ooh, sorry that took so long. Okay then, y'all ride all you want. Y'all get tired of riding, just jump the gate and head back into the village, okay bud? Look, ain't nothing cooler than fence jumping done just right. Yep. Yep, okay. There we go. Hop the, f Hop the gate there. This is pr to uh, prepare us for something we're gonna need later. There we go. Off to the village we go. And the sun is setting. Everything in this introduction is... Oh. Uh, do I want to save? Yeah, sure. I'll save. We'll save... I'll save here. If I have to save during the game, I'll save on a secondary save file. That's just teaching us how to save. And I guess it's the next day. Hey! Hey! Wake up, Link! It's morning already! Alright, who are these kids? Check out the window. Yep. Didn't realize you could look out the window. <laughs> okay. So we're inside the house. Go down a ladder. Go down the ladder. <laughs> Drop down. There's a, uh, a hole over here that we can go down as well, if you want to. But, um... Can't really see anything down here now, can we? So let's just get up and out of there. And head outside to see what the kids want. Link is like the friend to everybody in this village. He's even friends to the animals. Chickens, the cats, the goats. What you want, guys? Oh, Link, did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot! I wonder how powerful it is. I... I need. I must try it. Tell if you and Mallow want it so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rupees in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth, can you just loan it to us for a while? You know I'd get in trouble for that. If you two want it, save up your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Oh, I wish I was born to a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. So here we have, um, well, there's Beth, and I know the small one is Mallow. And this is Colin, I believe. Hi, Link. I finished the fishing rod I was making. I thought I'd give it to you first thing in the morning, but my dad said, you just wait until Link comes to get it. That's why I didn't bring it to you. Dad's out today, so would you ask my mom about it? I think she's by the river. Yeah, alright. So, we got two tasks here. We need a fishing pole and a slingshot. And both can apparently be found here in the village. What are you doing? Well, hey, morning, Link. Got a day off from work today, my boy? Not me. The wife's been hassling me. Today's the day to restock our store. Look, see that? Up in the tree. You can get a better view by pressing the right stick and then using the right stick or the gamepad to look around, just by the way. Yeah, some Orden bees built themselves a fine nest up there, and I was thinking about knocking it down. Our cat hasn't come home since yesterday, so the wife's in a bad mood. At the very least, I need to bring something home to her. So you're gonna bring bees? What are you, nuts? Oh, there's a cuckoo. Yo, Link! Yo, up here! I want to talk to you. Press A while holding ZL so we can chat. Oh. Hey, there you go. Over here. 
Yeah, your voice carries well as usual. Maybe you can teach my tykes that you've got... Maybe you can teach my tykes that you've got to press A while ZL targeting to talk to people from a distance. They don't get it. So listen, why don't you climb up those vines there, Link? Okay. Yo, there you are. Check this out. You know Sarah at the general store? Well, isn't that her cat over there? He's just been sitting there next to my house having a staring contest with the creek. You don't suppose he's thinking he's going to catch a fish, do you? <laughs> cat can't catch no fish. Anyway, that's not what I was meaning to tell you about. I want you to take a look at something. See that grass growing there on the edge of that rock? Haven't I seen you whistling with that stuff? I figured it was pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. I bet you could hop across these rocks with a little L forward, couldn't you? Yeah, well, you can see something out there as well. Uh, yeah, here we go. But well, we need to talk to... Um... I don't know your name, I'm sorry. Oh, um, good morning to you. Did you come to get the fishing rod that Colin made? I'm really sorry, but will you hear me out first? You have not seen a cradle come floating by here, have you? It's a, it is a baby cra baby's cradle made of finely woven tree bark. Oh, such a misfortune. How far could it have drifted, I wonder? Well, as it turns out... If and we climb up here... And hop across here... And onto the roof... And over here... And up here... Well, first we can get five rupees. But if you take a look out there... There's a monkey... Holding the cradle. So all we gotta do is grab a piece of this. And blowing this grass summons for us a hawk. Or a falcon, really. And we can aim the falcon. Or hawk. I think it's a hawk. I think it's hawk grass. And we fling it at the monkey. Who will grab the basket and bring it back to us? Thanks, mate. Alright, so now we got a cradle. And we can bring this back to the missus. Oh, Link. That cradle. Did you go to the trouble of finding it for me? My well, thanks to you. Oh, that reminds me. There is something I'm supposed to give you. Do you think you can carry that cradle and come with me back to my house? Sure thing, miss. Or missus. Are you... Hold up. What are you carrying there? What are you carrying there? I know the reason, but man, are you slow. <laughs> Alright, there we go. My thanks to you, Link. Yes, yes, I had nearly forgotten. I'm supposed to give you this. Alright, here you go. And we got a fishing rod. A simple fishing rod with a bobber. Set it to XY, or Y, X, or R on the item screen to use it. Face the water and use it to cast. Press and hold the assigned button to pull the line in when you get a bite. You can catch fish without bait, but you'll catch a larger variety of fish with bait. It is a little unpolished. My son Colin made this under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you like. Yes, I think I will. Also, what did you have with you? Is that... What is that? Hold on. What, what do you have in your basket there? Is it like bread? Or. Oh, you know what? I think it's laundry. <laughs> it's a laundry basket. Anyway, uh, the cat over here. Now that we have the fishing pole, we can come over here. What's this sign say? Tallow. That's his name. Tallow and Mallow. Oh, there's a one. Anyway, if we come over here. We can quickly 
Set this to there. Pull out our fishing pole. I notice the cat is watching us. There we go. We got a fish. This is not how fishing poles work. You caught a green gill. Ten inches. These small fry are everywhere. Small fry? No, we're not doing that. Press down on the D-pad to check the fish you've caught on the collection screen. Oh! <laughs> the cat stole the fish and ran all the way home in through the kitty door. Now, if we recall, the cat apparently... Put that away. The cat apparently had been missing since last night. I guess the cat wanted a fish. So now that the cat has a fish, the cat's gone home. So, let's check this out. This should be the store. Sarah's Sundries. Oh my, Link, come in. Oh, you must, oh, you simply must hear this. My little kitty cat is so amazing. Today, he caught a fish all by his little old self. How do you think he caught it? Maybe he's a genius. Oh, just look, isn't he so cute, the way he laps up that milk? Say, my dear, why don't you have some too? I'm in a good mood, so it's on the house today. You got milk in a bottle. But this bottle's half empty. Set it to and reuse it with Y, X, or R to replenish three hearts. Store things in an empty bottle by pressing Y, X, or R to swing it. Yes. So, how much does the, uh... Yes. <laughs> okay, PSA on littering. So let's see what we got. We got milk for 10 rupees. Bee larva for 10 rupees. And a slingshot and 50 pellets for 30. Got this in for the kids. It's just a toy, but it stings something awful when you hit by hit by it. So we need 30 rupees. Currently, we have six. So let's see if we can somehow scrounge up 30 rupees. Actually, hmm. Can I roll into this? Well, it didn't do much, did it? Let's get up here. Actually, I don't think this is a good idea. Um, look at all the bees. Oh, that's not a good idea. Get out of here. Whoops, whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was not a good idea. They're still coming, aren't they? Oh boy. Buzz off. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of stupid. <laughs> There's a 10 rupee up there. Also, I noticed that uh, Link's clothing gets darker when it gets wet, and then he gets real light again once it dries. <laughs> Same with his hair. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh. I don't think I should be breaking all the pumpkins. Let's see. Where can we find rupees? Um, where can we find rupees? There's nothing down there. Uh, nothing back there. Uh, what's going on, Mayor? Morning, Link. Sounds like Fado's handling things at the ranch on his own today. When he's up there alone, I always figure some calamity or other is gonna happen. Ah! Whoa! A goat got loose! It's heading for town! Somebody stop it! Oh, oh! Nope, 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 nope! nope. Get over there! Ah, uh, Fado did it again. These goats have been awful skittish lately. You always gotta be on your toes. 
Sorry about that, Link. But thanks to you, that goat didn't get away. Yeah, get back up the hill. <laughs> Stupid goat. Anyway, how do we get 30 rupees? Do I literally just have to break pumpkins? Oh, there's a heart. Yo! Don't waste food! Oh. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, probably shouldn't be doing that. How do I get the rupees, though? I need 30 rupees. Oh, well, that's one way to get rupees, I guess. Anything up the tree? No. How about up here? Is there anything up here? There's a sink. There's a pair of pumpkins here. There's some crates here. Hang on. There's a ladder up there. Maybe there's something up here. There's cuckoos up here. Can I get up this ladder, please? Hey, there's a tent. Nice. There's also some of this stuff. Why is this here? <laughs> I know why this stuff's here. I cast Summon Hawk. There's a one down below me. Alright. Welp. Off you go. There we go. Drop down there. Grab these two rupees here. And let's go over here and uh, deal with this. I knocked your thing down. Link, I saw that. Calling down a hawk? Why didn't I think of that? I was thinking of trying to knock that down myself, but you beat me to the punch, my boy. Yep. So... Let me grab out my bottle here. Take a swig of this. And we can actually use this bottle. Scoop. To get... Bee Larva! That should be 10 Bee Larva. Use them when not, the rod is not equipped to eat them and replenish a quarter of heart per larva. Yeah, 10 Larva. We can use these as bait for our fishing pole to catch different kinds of fish. There's like several kinds of bait, I believe, that you can get. But anyway, we're going to come up here. Whoa. Camera's being a little wonky on me. Yep, here we go. So, we got a fiver here. And we got a 10 down the other branch. We've got the 30 that we need, but... There we go. Ow. Anyway. Now that we've got our money, we can go buy the slingshot. There we go. I'll buy it. What are you doing buying a slingshot, you naughty thing? You're too old for toys. Will you at least let the kids play with it? Oh, I should tell you, if you happen to run out of pellets, you can also use pumpkin seeds. You got a slingshot! Children love this item! It, you can hold up to 50 pellets. Set it X, Y, X, or R on the item screen to use it. Aim with the L left stick or the pad and press the button to fire. Target with ZL for accuracy. I... I don't want that. Thank you. Off I go. So now that we have the slingshot, we can go show it to the kids. But, unfortunately, we're all out of time. So, next time in The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we're going to show off our brand new slingshot to a bunch of young children. And see what they think of it. 
Till then, this is NFI20, signing out.